The only thing that I knew about my uh, circumstances were that I was adopted. I knew that I was um, placed for adoption and the reason I thought that I was placed for adoption was because my birth mother was 16 and that was the only information that I would allow them to tell me. Um, it wasn't until I was uh, close to turning 30 that I decided, you know, there's something that I, I haven't resolved in my life and I'm getting to a point where it's really something that I think I need to um, search out and I felt God moving me in that direction that calling me to look for my biological mother and um, and that's essentially what I did um, the information that I received upon asking my parents um, was never anything I would have been prepared for I learned uh, that I was conceived in rape and incest between my mother and her father and um, I never expected that, ever. Uh, the first child that was conceived, she was in her early teens, and the child was, um, through physical violence and abuse, um, the child did not survive. And the second, the second pregnancy was um, my birth and adoption. I was placed for adoption at birth, and um, the four subsequent pregnancies after my birth were uh, terminated through abortion. I'm thankful that my parents gave me the privacy that I needed until I was ready to hear the difficult things um, that they told me. And they learned the information when I was 13. It was published in the local newspaper. My birth mother was um, at a point in her life that she felt strong enough and able to bring her father to court and prosecute him for the uh, 20 plus years of abuse and the six pregnancies that had happened. And she um, process, or she brought him to court. Um, however, with that, there was very little evidence. There was no proof of his actions. And like I said, I was 13 at the time that she brought him to court, so um, it had, the pregnancies had taken place several years prior. And um, my adoption records were sealed. There was no um, paper trail, per se, of where I was and how to find me. I had to rely very heavily on my Christian upbringing and my faith, and I knew in my heart that um, forgiveness is something that I needed to process. I needed to offer forgiveness. By forgiving my biological father for his actions, um, I was then able to process what had happened and not, not hold that against him per se, but um, I was able to move on as well. It allowed me to move on. It freed me from that, that awful feeling of um, hatred or dislike towards someone. I absolutely feel like I am here for a reason and I am God's child and by no other means would I be here. He has a purpose for me. Um, he has a purpose for every life and I, I truly feel that I am here today and allowing, he has allowed me to um, live out my life and it is through his divine purpose that I am here.